hello world welcome to the fifth challenge i guess so in this challenge uh, we are going to be solving something called as a narcissist number so let's see the question what exactly is this so does my number look big in this so a narcissist number is a positive number which is the sum of its own digits each raised to the power of number of blah 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 you can read the question uh because uh, i read the question it's pretty confusing but once i read the example it was pretty easy to understand so basically what they're trying to say is for example take the number 153 which is of three digits right so which is narcissist why narcissistic because uh one raised to the power of 3 Five raised to the power of three and three raised to the power of three. If you add all of these, you get back the digits. I mean, the number itself, right? So that is there, and also again the same thing which is over here. Why this is not narcissistic? So what we need to do is we need to return true or false depending upon if the number is narcissistic or not. So here is what what we are going to do. First of all, we need to know. how many digits are present inside the given value right now this value is of type number how do you know that one they have given you can also check it out you can say type of value right you, you can console log this and you can check it out so it says number right so we do not want that i mean we that is good but then how will you find the number of digits right so what we need to do first is let's just convert uh, the value to string type so that we get to know the number of digits how once we convert that uh, number of digits is going to be equal to string dot length right so here is what we'll do uh, let a uh, num of digits is equal to um, value dot to string dot length right let's just console log value as a well last number of digits so that we know if we are doing it correctly so the value is 7 and the number of digits is 1 correct the value is so and so and the number of digits is 3 correct that is what we wanted right so that is perfect now let's just have the string in a different variable let's just say string number which is equal to blah 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 and here we are going to say string number right now why did i convert that to a string one because we need the number of digits second we need each individual digit right so we can now perform a split so what we need to do is perform a split on string numbers so that we can have each digit and we can run it uh, through an array right run the array using a loop like let's not say run let's just say travel the array using a loop and for each value we need to uh have this this is going to be our exponent right like see if you see the number of digits like that is going to be our exponent value so i'm just going to call this as my exponent right i'm just going to call that as exponent so for each value we need to uh, calculate the exponent i mean we need to raise it to the power of exponent right so we need to do that once we do that we need to store that somewhere else right let's just say we have a sum variable which is zero and each iteration we will do plus equal to the value of whatever this is let's just call it powered value and we'll say 
powered value, right? Like the sum is powered value. And at the end of the day, what we need to do is we need to check if the sum, right? If the sum is equal to our value, which is over here. Now, this value, whatever we have for each value, this needs to be a number because we would have split this into a string. I mean, we would have converted it to, into a string. I don't think this should matter, but it's always good to do it explicitly. So now what we have done is uh, we have converted this to a string value. Yes, we are the number of digits, blah, blah, blah. All right, perform a split on the string. Okay, so let, uh, what we are going to call this, we are just going to call this value, no. We are just going to say array values. Array of value, let's just say that is equal to string number dot split, right? We just split it at nothing. And then for let i is equal to zero, i less than exponent i plus plus, and we need to put this inside the parentheses. So for each value, right, we say we need to have something called as a powered value. Let powered value equal to zero at this moment. And also our sum is equal to zero at initial, right? because we need two different variables over here. So number of array value, array value of i into exponent. This is powered value is equal to so and so. And then what we need to do is sum plus equal to powered value. And at the end of the day, we need to check if sum equal to equal to value, then we return true or else we return false, right? We can have an else statement, but it really does not matter. Yep, that should work. I hope this works. I'm not sure. Perfect. See, it's just like in one go, right? Because you wrote the pseudocode. Basically, you pre-plan and you write what do you what exactly do you want to do? And then you run it through the I mean you just translate this pseudocode into your actual program and then yeah, everything usually works out. It is not always the case, but most of the case it works out. So yeah, this was fun. Actually, this was something that I did not know and it is something that I learned new, like narcissistic number. It's a weird name, I don't know why, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.